Hey, this is David Rich again at housebearings.com. Today we're going to show you how to curve molding, uh, molding trim around a curved surface. We're going to show you how to do a job and save a lot of money in the process. Uh, upstairs in, our, in the other staircase, it came with already pre-bent wood molding. Yeah, this is the staircase I was talking about. It came with uh, molding that was, uh, this is wood, and it was bent. Uh, it, this whole staircase was shipped in as, in one piece. And so it, it, from the factory, it came with this, um, this molding uh, that was already steam bent. And we don't have the uh, opportunity to, to bend wood with steam. So we were left with two different options. And that would be to take a piece of wood and cut the back side of it, curve cut it around the back side to make it so it's a little more flexible to bend it around there. Or what we've elected to do is use a piece of PVC trim and use a blowtorch and kind of get the PVC trim hot enough so that we can bend around the curve and accomplish the same, the same look. All right, so we're going to use this. You can see this. Uh, this is a PVC trim. It's an outdoor trim, which the PVC makes it has a, a wood look to it, and it's real nice. Uh, but because it's PVC, uh, it should bend with the blow. If I get too close, it, it scorches it, and it's this is the back. No one's going to see it, but nonetheless, I don't want to smell it so much. Oh yeah, definitely do this in a, a room that has uh, ventilation because it stinks. Okay, we've been at this a few minutes. It just takes, it's very slow, but it's doing the job. You can see, you know, it gets scorched, but it sets up pretty quick and you, it's no worries. Okay, I think we're there. I think, uh, I guess we'll take it in while well, it's still pretty pliable. We'll take it and make sure. See, we've got our shepherd's crook here. So long as it doesn't snap, it, feels, it still feels pretty pliable. I think that'll do the trick. Let's go see. All right, so we got this uh, close to bent, and now I just want to pre-fit it, get it as close as we can. So I'm looking like about two inches to get to touching. So I'll take a couple inches off here. That'll get me a little closer. There, this is a, a this we're cutting with multi-tool. It's a, a real must-have tool. It does everything. It does everything well. So we got and we have a link to that in our description below. I think a little more bending. Yeah, a little more bending. I think we're gonna bend it over here a little more. That side's decent. So we're gonna bend here. All right, let's go do it. You know what, I think I'll make it shorter just so it's easier to carry. All right, so I'm closer now, and I can see right here, I need to have another soft spot about here to be able to tuck this one in a little more. And then when it's tight here, and I'm gonna go ahead and, and do a little more bending right here. All right, I've been working in the garage, and when I'm blow torching it, it's, it's the flame is being fought by the cold temperature in the garage. It's like 25 outside. So I'm gonna just see if I can help heat this whole entire thing up and give it a little, little more softness. Um, I don't wanna stick it in the fire, I'm just trying to get it warm. And the heat that comes out of here is pretty, pretty substantial, so that's, it's all about experimentation, so we're just giving it a shot. 
Amazingly, this is doing a whole lot better job than the blow torching because um, it's getting it's getting very pliable. See how it's um, and I'm just letting the overall thing heat up. And I think what we'll do is we're going to run downstairs before it gets um, set, and we'll have a lot better shot at this. So that that really got this heated up well. Still needs more help over on this side. Okay. Okay, we're pretty we're pretty well in there. Got it about as tight as I can get it, and I'm hoping the screw's gonna pull it tighter. Now we could have done curve cuts, all these little cuts in here, and bent this uh, easy a, a little maybe even a little easier. The problem is we wanted a, a fairly smooth, clean top, and uh, so we elected to try to use heat to do it. A heat gun would work like a dream. But we don't own one, so we're using the fireplace. The fireplace actually worked really well. Above the fireplace, not in it. Anyway, we've got it pretty tight, so I'm just gonna apply some screws here, hopefully pull it tight here first, and then either side, and we should be done. We're gonna, we changed screws. We were having problems because there's no threads on the top of this screw, and so it was just spinning. And so now we got a screw that has threads all the way to the top. And that should do the, the trick for us. We finished up the project and as you can see it turned out real real nice uh, it just took a lot of patience in getting it in getting it uh, bent and using heats the secret but probably a, a more intense but slow heat uh, like like a heat gun would be the perfect trick uh, but we, we did good with what we had this is a luxury vinyl plank floor and uh, you're supposed to have a quarter inch gap around everything for expansion and contraction. Well, that looks really ugly. That's why we did this piece of trim. Um, and bending around the curve was, was clearly uh, a little bit of a challenge, but it's actually very doable and dressed up the, the bottom of the staircase uh, quite nicely. Thanks again for uh, watching us. I uh, hope this helps as you work on your projects at home. If you have any questions, go ahead and shoot us a line and we'll answer them as soon as we can. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We've got lots more videos coming. Thanks for viewing, and we'll see you next time.